Hey everyone, today I'm going to do something that gives me extreme pleasure. Not that. What I am going to do is make some really high quality prints. We have a gallery show coming up and I got to make some really good looking prints for the show. So let me show you the process of how I go about that. Let's go. The first thing to think about is printing is subjective you are making a lot of decisions and I can tell you this however ever hard you try you're not going to get what's on your monitor on a piece of paper it's backlit paper is frontlit really simple so what you're going to try and get is as close to, as you can and what you like this is one of our dancers ying now I have done a lot of work on this um, to get this to look like this and it's exactly how I would like it to print. Um, so in theory, what would be great would be to turn the printer on, bang out a print and call it quits. It doesn't really work like that, even though I have a calibrated monitor and my printer's calibrated, just doesn't for some reason, especially in black and white. So I created a little thing, um, which if anybody's interested in, I can share it with you afterwards. And what that actually does is it gives me some options here so uh, I can I, this is my neutral picture this is some other things that I might want a heavy curve a medium curve a light curve taking contrast out adding contrast taking adding exposure and taking away exposure and a black panel and this really helps me by doing one print to see where I'm at and where I should go for a final print here's a tricky bit Everybody's monitor is going to be different. Everybody's printer is going to be different. And everybody's paper is going to be different. This is what I'm using. Whatever you're using is going to be fine, I promise. Um, these are a couple of rules of thumb. Mo calibrate your monitor, super important. We have a video on that. It's really worthwhile doing. Um, second of all, use the correct ICC profile for whatever paper you're using and whatever printer you're using. I'm using a Canon Pro 4000 and Hanamiel paper and I have the correct profile set already. Um, number three, remember it's subjective. Remember it's a labor of love and take your time. Um, I'm going to open this in my Canon Print Pro software and I'll show you what we're going to do. Here is my test print thingy. It's, uh, it's set up to print. And the things which are important to me are my media type, my paper size, um, print quality is gonna be highest. And most importantly is my printer profile. And my printer profile is the correct profile for my printer and the paper I'm using. So hopefully that'll, that'll work out. All right, let's make this test print. We'll have a look at it. So here's our test print. It looks pretty good. What I'm kind of relieved about is the neutral one, which is the one with no adjustments, looks pretty good. And I can just, by looking at this, maybe make some decisions on what I could do to look at, make it look better. If I go up to the top left here, this one that says S-curve heavy is way too heavy. Um, the whites are blown out, the blacks are blown, the blacks are too solid, it's blocking up. Uh, S-curve medium, once again, I feel the same, uh, that the, the blacks are blocking up, the highlights are, are, are a little blown out. The S-curve light is kind of nice. Um, it's adding a touch more pop to the neutral, but I think even too much. So I'm gonna say no to these. If I add just contrast into the picture, once again, it's blocking up, not as much as the S-curve, but it's definitely blocking up a little in the blacks. Um, even though there is something I kind of like about the skin tone there. If I go to my neutral one, um, still my favorite so far, if I take contrast out with this minus contrast, I feel it's flattened out a bit and it doesn't have quite enough pop. Um, and this exposure, 
plus one is way too much. I don't think it needs exposure. Um, the reason I made this black one is because this is how your black is going to print. This is how it should print with neutral settings. So by looking at this and then by looking into some of the blacks here, I can see that I actually do have blacks, which is important. Um, and then my exposure minus one is pretty nice, actually. Uh, it's killed a little bit of the pop, but it looks a little more fine art print. It's a tough decision for me. It's somewhere between this neutral one and taking a little bit of exposure out. This is too much, taking a whole one out, um, you know, in Photoshop. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a print and I'm going to take a little, I'm going to just minus a little bit of exposure. Um, and that is what I've committed to for this. Let's make it. Okay, so this is the neutral print or how it was neutral and I'm just going to um, take the exposure down a little bit and see how that looks. All right, so here's our exposure. If I take it down to one, which is what I printed out, it definitely feel it looks too much. So I'm going to go right in the middle and I'm going to go to 0 0.5. And I think that looks pretty good. So let's print that. Whoa, the first print is printed and I am actually pretty happy with it. Um, I did use a sheet of paper to make this test. And I'm glad I did because looking at that neutral one, I think it's a little punchier than I would have liked. So bringing the exposure down really worked. And I think this looks like a, a pretty fine art print that hopefully somebody will buy. One other thing to consider when you're viewing your prints like I'm doing right now is what light are you viewing them under? Um, I tend to like to view them personally at about 5600. Um, I think that's reasonable for room light, maybe a little maybe a little uh, blue for some people, but that's that's where I like to look at them at. So this is being viewed at 5600. I'm pretty happy with it. Next problem for me is that I wish I only had one print to print, but I've got like 16 or 20 prints to print and I'm going to I'm going to want them to be viewed all together. So I'm going to show you a way next of how I would set up maybe four prints on a big sheet of paper and match them so everything looks consistent when we hang the show. That's for next time. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.